In this video, we're going to make a bunch of cubes appear around us, but the shape they're going to appear, the, where they're placed, is going to be in the shape of a circle. And because it's a circle, that means trigonometry. So the first thing we need to do is right-click, Create, Folder, Resources, and it has to be spelt exactly like this with a capital R, weirdly. Um, we need to make our cube or our shape, whatever you want, but let's go with the cube. So game object, 3D object, cube. So now on the left, click and drag onto resources and let go. And now delete the cube from here. And if you use some other shape or you can use even a Batman model or whatever, you just have to name it cube with a capital C and put it in resources. So now we have our cube and we can make copies of it. So in Assets, right-click, Create, C-sharp script, call it Circle Cubes, Enter, and double-click that to open it up. Okay, so one of the scripts I gave, Trig Tools, it has an easy way to make cubes. So let's put it at X is 1, Y is 5, and Z is 3. The color is going to be color dot, that's color with a capital C, color dot green, and the size will be 5, and there's a semicolon at the end. And now I'm going to save, go back into Unity, and right now Circle Cubes is just a text file on my computer. You need to actually tell the game to use these instructions to attach it to the game. So just click any game object in the scene, but you can just click the floor, add component, circle cubes. And now when we press play, we have this cube is made at that, that position and that size and that color. So we could, you know, we could, if we wanted to make it a circle, we could copy this a bunch. We could be like, oh, the X should be maybe 1.3, oh, F. You have to do F if it's 1.3, like a dot. Uh, and then, oh, 1.8 maybe, and we're trying to like roughly get a circle, you know? And how about the, the Z? Well, 3.1 and 3.8, I don't know, and I'm, maybe it's something like this. So I'll save this, and I'll press play. Actually, I'm going to hold on here. I'm going to make the size 1 so you can see what's even happening. Now we could do this, but you don't want to do it this way. Because look, that's kind of the start of a circle, you know, a quarter of it, but that sucks. Instead, we're going to use trig to get the exact right position. So we're going to get rid of these. Now, the way you make something happen many times is called a for loop. I'll explain this in a moment. Just let me write it out. Path.py times 2. Now let's start with math.py. Now I'll do times 2. Radians plus equals 0.1f. Got to do that f because it's a decimal, it's a float. And we'll just pop this in here. Okay, so. Oh, actually. So here we're going to do a squiggly bracket that opens and then a squiggly bracket that closes. And I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, so here we need to calculate the x and the y on the z. Okay, and then we're going to make a cube at that x, y, z. The color will be green. Green, not gray. And it will be... 100% the normal size. So how do we decide x, y, and z? Well, we're going to use radians. And well, first, this is the stuff inside here. This is going to happen many times. The first time, radians starts at 0. So it's going to do this where radians is 0. And then it's going to do this again where radians went up. It increased by 0.1. So radians will be 0 0.1. It's going to happen again where radians is 0 0.2. It's going to happen again where radians is 0 0.3. 
So it's going to keep going up until this breaks right here. So it's going to go till, till 2 pi. So we're going to use radians to find that x. Well, how do you get the x if you have radians? That is your cos. And the y is the sine. And z, well, we'll just make it 5. Whatever. And save that. Press play. And we have, well, we kind of have a circle. Could maybe tell that these cubes are in a circle, but they're too big or they're too close together. And of course, that's because these functions, these trig functions, their highest value is 1, and their lowest value is negative 1. So I want to make that bigger. So instead of just cos, I'm going to say up here, whoops, I'm going to say float radius is equal to 10. So I'm making a new container called radius that holds a decimal number, a float. It's going to start at 10. And I'm here just going to use it to multiply that out. So our x and y will be bigger. And I'll save this, press play. And we have, okay, a circle. But the other half is under the ground. But uh, we do have our circle. One last thing that's kind of fun. Instead of color.green, I made another thing in trig tools. Get random color. And open bracket, close bracket. And save that. And I'm going to make the floor lower so that we see everything. All right, and there is our circle of cubes.